and third game, very, very close placing. I just like the way the second big black pepper walks out. She's a little higher in her chine. She moves a little freer on her front legs. She's a little less uh, throaty than the third place heifer, uh, but a real, real close pair of, pair of heifers. The third place heifer over the fourth place heifer, just a little more heifer, a little more body, a little more depth of both fore and rear rib. Uh, the fourth over the fifth. Uh, the fifth place heifer, of course, is starting to spring and um, maybe not in her greatest state today, but uh, a really nice group of heifers. Uh, uh, exhibitors should be very proud of what you brought up. Give them a hand, please. Just take a look at what these people have brought out from Sheboygan County. There are some really, really good heifers in here, and I think as exhibitors, parents, and 4-H helpers, uh, this is tremendous. You do not find this group of helpers at very many county fairs. I would maybe say Sheboygan County might be the only place you will find a group of heifers like this. This is absolutely tremendous. Um, I, am, I am very pleased on what is out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out maybe three or four of the heifers that I think are in contention. And then we'll move them to the far end. And then we'll uh, pick our junior champion. I would give these people a real round of applause. So this is tremendous. that you think can probably compete at the next level. And there's some heifers in here that I think can really compete at the next level. But there's one, there's one heifer that I fell in love with immediately when I seen her. I thought this is just, just the heifer that I thought of from the time she came in the ring till she left, till she come back, came back in here. And I think to me as the the most potential, as far as I'm concerned, to move to the next, the next stage in her life, and you know, to the maybe even the colored shavings of Madison. So this time I'm going to pick my junior champion heifer, and we'll get her out of the mix, and then we'll pick my reserve junior champion heifer. And I just love all these kids just smile at me, smile, smile, smile. Just what a what a treat it's been to judge all you kids. So congratulations to all you. But I'm going to go pick my junior champion. Anybody getting scared? No. No, there's a heifer, like I said, that I've been impressed with since the day she, since she came into this ring. I'm thrilled to death that she's in here, and I think she's a winner very easily for me. So the red heifer would like to bring, just walk around in front. Um, to me, it's just, I don't find a fault in the heifer. She's just, and I'm going to leave it at that, I don't find a fault in the heifer at this stage of her life. Uh, just an absolute beautiful, beautiful heifer. The little girl has done just a tremendous job showing me animal. Congratulations to her. The junior, the reserve junior champion gets a little tougher. Um, because there's a which I think probably fits following the red heifer, and that's going to be the black heifer. The last time champion and the champion uh, was a guy I'm very proud to have placed you all. You all have done a tremendous, tremendous job. Congratulations to you and your parents and everybody else that's helped you. And see, this is what it's all about when a little girl can kiss her pet. That is Welcome to the 2013 Sheboygan County Fair. We just witnessed Ava Boob win this junior champion. How do you feel, Ava? Great. Um, this is my heifer, Julep, who just won junior champion. 
and I'm really happy for her, and I, I'm so excited. How old is she? Um, she was just born in December, this December. So how long have you been working with her? For about four months. Is it a lot of hard work, and how, how many days a week do you work with her? Every single day, pretty much, that I work as hard as I can to train her. Uh, for Junior Chan, I think all these three heifers. Uh, a very nice quality group of heifers. Well, your hard work definitely um, paid off, don't you think? But this is yes. a little bit easier than the last one. Good. Well, congratulations. Uh, congratulations to, so to all you. Uh, Good job on your win today. Bring me out your animals and present them to me. Uh, we are here back with Haley Roman, who just won the grade junior champion. How do you feel, Haley? <laughs> I feel amazing. I bet that's pretty good. So how old is your animal? What's her name? She's a winter yearling. Her name's Kiara. Okay, and how long have you been working with her? Um, since last summer. She came here to when she was junior champion. Awesome. So twice in a row. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. sweet. Yep. Okay, so what club are you with? You're in 4-H, right? Yeah, I'm with the Johnson Hustlers. How long have you been with them and how long have you been showing dairy? I've been with them for nine years and eight years I've been showing. Wow, that's a pretty long time. Well, congratulations, thank you. Too. We appreciate your hard work you put in this year. Thanks. Haley Routman, everyone. <laughs> Once again, um, I want to go thank the camp that I think has the most potential as time comes. Uh, there's really three very, very nice camps out here. Uh, all are deserving winning the classes and be considered for junior champion. Very, very nice heifers. Uh, they show what the Brown Swiss breed is all about. 
to have the strength and the harness over the top. They're real good feet. Like on them and then we're going to have a pig race but I'm going to divide you into four equal groups I'm going to make a line to divide you in half and then I'm going to divide each half in half and the first half of the first half is a red rooster second half of the first half is a white rooster first half of the second half is a blue rooster and everybody left is yellow now I'm going to tell you the name of the team the girls are going to get these pigs soaked up and we're going to have a pig race now in this quarter pig team the pig in red I have shown that red silk uh, the other day this is two bits. Two bits is wearing the red silks, two bits on his back. And the pig in white. The pig in white, of course, white rooters. And you can yell any time. This is four bits. Four bits in the white. And the pig in blue. The pig in blue is six bits. Six bits. And getting silked up as we speak. Kelly doing an amazing job down here as a pig race associate. Baby, that's good, Kelly. You got it. You got it. That's good. That is the pig known as Buck. The pig known as Buck. We got two bits, four bits, six bits, and Buck and go. Are you ready? And the trumpet sounds. I want a big cheer. Don't you ever forget the fact that me know if you make the fast for the pigs, you're going to win. Woo-hoo! Let me go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get a big good start. It's like to a little thing. It looks like they're looking for something. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I knew we were going to have a little bit of a problem. I knew a professional photographer in the race, but these pigs will do anything for a photo op, and I'm amazed they got a couple steps past him. It is a, a multi-talented pig. 
She can sing, she can dance. Hey, she's even a great mom. She is Brittany Squeals. Brittany Squeals in the white. And the pig in blue. The pig in blue. Also a pig that's been in the news a lot. But since this is a family show, that's basically all I can tell you. She's been in the news a lot. This is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian in the blue. And the pig in yellow, the oldest pig on the team. In fact, probably the oldest pig on the Hulk Hilton entirely. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's smart. She's got great eyelashes. This is Miss Piggy. How about her Rooters? The beautiful sounds of color the post. So we go, ladies and gentlemen, and may we got to get Kim. That's not a good start. Kim is coming around the corner. Oh, yeah, no, we got to go straight and strong. Woo! Look at this pig. And, ladies and gentlemen, man, I'm going to tell you what, everybody. Are you sure? You know, you start to run. It's over and back. They get to run it three times. If you fall in, you got to get back on the logs and you got to continue to go right out here. So it looks to me like we're going to start it out with the blue team over here. Oh, wait a minute here. Let's give them a warm up. You guys get one warm up a piece here. One way only. One way only on out here. Now the logs are going to be bouncing up and down here. And the thing is, is you want to try to stay right up on top. Well, warm up here, one way only. The four logs are laying turned out here. He's going to make it all the way across. And I tell you what, here comes Ben. The holy man, Ben, he's got the logs all bouncing around for you. On the way back, it's a lot harder than on the way over. Let's see how he does on that warm up here. Here we go. There's two, there's three, there's four. And, woo! And he makes it. He makes it. <laughs> The blue team, let's hear for the blue team over here. Tanner Teasdale gets to run it three times. We'll always take the rotate the events out here. Contestant ready. One, two, go. And out of the box we go. There's a two, there's a three, and oh, oh, oh. He got a little short there. He didn't want to jump for that dock. And here he comes on the way back. There's a two, there's a three, there's a four. Is it the three to get on that one? As he scrambles across. I'm going to give him a 16.66 out here, 16.66. All right, the red team. Let's hear it from the red team over here, Ben Wyland. 16.66, the time to beat. Contestant ready. One, two, go. And I didn't watch to go. There's three, there's four. Oh, come up a little bit short, but he's back on that dock, and the timer's still running as he turns around, makes it on the way back. <laughs> Into the drink on the other side, and he's going to climb all the way over there. <laughs> and he's in the lead with a 15.97. 15.97 out here. <laughs> all right. Now, the faster you try to go, the harder it is to stay on him. Are we ready? One, two, go. And out of the box we go. There's a three, there's four. Oh, and into the drink on that one. As he comes back on up and makes that turn, and on the way back, that's a three, there's a four. <laughs> He's doing a lot of spin and a lot of time in the water out here. Going to flop right over the other end. <laughs> the blue team's in the lead. The blue team's in the lead. All right. Are we ready, Ben? All right. One, two, go. And off he goes. There's a three, there's a four. Oh, he made it. All right, let's see if he can do it on the way back. Here he comes, there's a two, there's a three. Oh, all the way up to the last log, can he go? And he comes across with a 12.38, 12.38 out here. All right, they both got one more run, one more run in them on out here, you know. I'll tell you what here, I'm going to change the rules a little bit. I'm watching you two out here. You know what I'm going to do? If any of you can make it all the way over and all the way back, I don't care how long it takes you, 
I'm going to give you the automatic win out here. The automatic win on out here. So, take your time, take your time. See who can make it over and back. Are we ready? One, two, go. And here he goes, taking a quick little step to the street. There's four legs going. <laughs> All right, all right, let's see if we can make it back. Let's see if we can make it back here. The winner will go to whoever made it over the most times out here. There's a two, there's a three. <laughs> Into the drink out here, and I tell you what, this lumberjack Jack here would have swam along in the rock drives out there. All right. Okay, let's get Ben up here. He's laughing pretty hard. He's laughing pretty hard. Let's get a little bit of encouragement down over here on the red team. All right, Ben, you're bouncing around a little bit. Four long play turn. Are you ready? One, two, go. And here he goes. There's a two. There's a three. Oh, he made it. He made it. Take your time. Take your time. No, don't sit down. <laughs> all right. Let's see if you can do it all the way back. There comes a one. There's a two. There's a three. There's a four. Look at it. Let's hear from Ben Wyland, ladies and gentlemen. He's
Welcome to the Sheboygan County Fair and the Sheboygan County Veterans Memorial booth here. Uh, this year we have something different. As you can see to my side here, we have actual panels from the Veterans Memorial here in Sheboygan County. And of course, here is a list of names of all the Sheboygan County residents that uh, were killed in the Civil War. On the other side of this panel is also the same thing. We have a World War II panel back here. And then off on this side, Korean War, and back here in the corner is the Vietnam War. These panels are on loan from the Military Heritage Museum in Sheboygan. Uh, they are the ones that actually made these panels up for us, so we're very happy for them to uh, uh, put them on loan to us. When we're done here, we will be giving them back to the Heritage Museum. So. Okay, I'm going to get a chocolate shake. Chocolate, chocolate shake! Thank you guys very much. You're welcome. No better way to end the day than with a chocolate shake from the 4-H building. To cool you off on this nice hot day we have today. Perfect. Thank you guys. <laughs>